a free tea today at Kim West that shop. Yes, and the link is at the top line of the description box. Alright, so most Def was asked during an interview about where he what category he put Drake in. I'm gonna play that clip. And I'll be back on with the newest response after Most Def got the backlash about what he said about Drake. He dropped a new response just moments ago. Rotate. Like, is Drake hip hop? Like, do this to me. Drake is pop to me. In the sense, that, like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with. Shopping. So after that clip dropped, everybody was saying that Most was hating, that, you know, he wanted this and he wanted that. Well, Most actually came back about a couple weeks later today, a few minutes ago, and clarified his stance. I'm going to play the clip and stick around for my commentary on the situation. Here's Most Def. Drake, if you would like to speak to me directly, you can at any point. I reached out to Chappelle, asked him to reach out to you. I DM'd you. You are a very talented MC. Uh, but for me, I require more of myself and others than just talent or charm or charisma, particularly in times of urgent crisis. And what I would like to see in terms of creators or creative people in the world as it relates to our culture is for people to connect with us beyond the jukebox. It was not an opportunity to try to slander him or to clown on him. Um, I have reached out to him. I have no response just yet, but uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not keen to talk about people uh, or to them through a screen. I prefer to talk to people directly. Um, but I will say this, the young man is very talented. He's been able to be very successful with that talent. And I have no issue with his success or, or anything that he's been able to uh, achieve as a result of his talent. Um, I do feel that some of the criticism that he's received in the past has been mean-spirited and unfair. So I don't want to participate in that. And if I was perceived to be harsh or mocking or taunting, that is not my intention. And Drake, if you're watching or if you, if you, you come across this, that is not my intention, brother. I've never had no issue with you personally. I don't know you well enough to even have any sort of issue with you in that regard. Nonetheless, it's not sacrilegious to have a critique or an opinion of a public figure, particularly one of that magnitude in, in current modern culture. Um, it was a question that I was asked, and I answered it as earnestly and as diplomatically as I possibly could. Uh, forgive my Brooklyn. So I'm going to do my best to, you know, kind of break it down for my interpretation of what he's saying. He's saying that you could put Drake into the pop category because it's a little lighthearted, even though I will concede he makes timeless music, great music, music that's going to go on for a long time, music that can be played whether you're shopping, it could be played in the club, it could be played, you know, anywhere, across any genre, across any race, and it'll be acceptable. That's what Drake is, and I'll, you know, I'm going to give Drake all the respect in the world. What most deaf is saying is, like, it can't just be about the music. And I'm not saying he's 100% right, but he's saying that it can't be just about the music. What is your connection with the people, right? Are you just a great artist, right? And you make great music, cool. But what impact did you have on the people, on their psyche, on their emotion? And to me, it's like apples and oranges a little bit because there's no way Drake would ever be considered like a Tupac or, you know, a modern day artist that, you know, captivated the people. That's not Drake. He just makes great music, great songs to dance to, 
great songs for breaking up and women and, and things like that. He's not going to give you what you're looking for, at least not yet in his career, what most Def is talking about. Something very thought-provoking, something that's going to, you know, challenge the status quo. That's not Drake. He's not going to be that. And that's what I think he is saying, in my opinion. Again, I could be wrong now. I want to hear what you guys got to say. What's your interpretation of what most Def said? When he said, like, connecting with the people, that kind of, that I felt him on that. I'm like, well, you know what? Does he have that appeal, really? And, you know, I mean, he'll make a club banger. He'll make you dance. You know, if you broke up with your girl, it's good to listen to some Drake. But as far as something that's going to, like, move a movement or something that's going to shake up something, it's just not there. It's just not there. And that don't mean he's still not one of the greatest, right? But I don't think you put him in the category, you know, um, of – one of these commons or most deaf, the AKA conscious slash backpack, you know, rapper. I don't think you put Drake in there, but don't doesn't mean that he's one of the best. That's the great thing about music and hip hop and R and B and all different genres of music is that everybody can be unique. Everybody can be themselves and everybody can be great. Jordan is great. Curry is great. Shaquille O'Neal is great. Kobe is great. Vince Carter is great. You know, some of you might say he's not, but he is, you know, uh, um, um, Kawhi Leonard is great. We can go Durant, great. We can go all the way down the list of people that are great, but they have some similarities and they have some differences. So that's my take on it. I want to hear what y'all got to say in the comment section. It's your brother Ogaman Hip Hop News on Sales. Hey, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 1,000 plus likes. It takes everybody listening to hit the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to go to our website, Hip Hop UN. Dot com and follow us on all our social media handles facebook instagram and twitter right now called x all those links are tucked conveniently in the description box as well as visiting the top link for something special from our sponsor from this video go ahead and bang that click that top link they got something special for you and tell them as always oh god sent you hey i appreciate y'all listening and real quick before i get out of here we got a 59 dollars special Right now, if you want to advertise, you got a song, if you got a business or brand, a video ready to rock and roll, look, hit me right now, OGOD at HipHopYourOn.com. Just like you've seen a commercial before this video, that could be your business, that could be your brand, that could be your song right before the video here on this channel for just $59. The offer is expiring very, very soon. So hit me, look, OGOD at HipHopYourOn.com. That's OGOD at HipHopYourOn.com. And that's all the way down at the bottom if you can't memorize it, don't worry. It's already down at the bottom of the description box. Hit me now. Peace.